Hi and welcome to NAB 2018. I'm Bryce Patton, Director of Product Marketing here at AJA Video Systems and we've got a big beautiful new booth this year uh, with some colorful design and that's because we're tying things around all these wonderful HDR workflows we're enabling for you as well as fiber and IP, etc. I'm standing here in front of our What's New case uh, where we're showing all the wonderful new kit we have. So starting at the top, we've got a Kona HDMI card. The Kona HDMI card enables 4K uh, on port 1, so you can do 4K up to 60p, or four channels of 2K HD up to 60p. This is fantastic for a range of workflows, streaming, game capture play, you could be recording two separate PlayStations, two separate users at the same time, streaming it through VMX, streaming it through Wirecast. On the IP front, we have IPR 10G HDMI. So now we have moved to the point where you go back to the Kona cards. SIMT 2110 is here in our desktop software 14.2. You can tie it together, you can work with your nonlinear packages, your effect packages, and then sending it across the network. You're going to want to obviously plug in somewhere and actually look at it on a display. And so with the IPR 10G HDMI, you just connect it to your local HDMI display wherever you might be uh, on that network. If you're just doing straightforward, simple editing, the Kona One is a new cost-effective, powerful 3G SDI card, PCI 2.0, 595, really just designed to get you through the everyday stuff, uh, in, out, and of course reference, uh, RS-422 if you need it. Uh, when it comes to our players and recorders, that would be the Keeper Ultra and the Keeper Ultra Plus, we have added Avid DNX HR, so extending uh, the capabilities on the codec front supporting up to 4K workflows. With the Plus in particular, we're also enabling HDR capture for HDR10 and HLG. So you really are starting to see us really fill out your HDR toolkit. The FSHDR, which is our fantastic frame synchronizer converter and HDR transformer box driven by the Colorfront engine, takes another step up with firmware 2.5. We have added BBC uh, HLG LUTs. So if you're working in a scenario where you need to have the strict mathematical transformations required for HLG workflows, no problem. We've given you uh, easier, quicker control with the ability to work with a tangent KB panel. So you've got quick uh, uh, panel connection with knobs that you can control. Uh, we've added ever more uh, parameter sliders for controlling aspects of your HDR look. Moving further down the chain and working with routing, we have the Kumos. This is for 12G, so we're working in IP, we're working in HDMI 2.0. 12G is obviously fantastic bandwidth. What does that mean? Well, it means with a single cable, so single cable simplicity, you can move 4K material with high frame rate, deep color, get it right across uh, your facility. And it also means that you can actually start to work with 8K if that's something you're starting to explore because we allow you to gang ports. So a couple of cables and you're actually moving 8K signals. Available in 32 by 32 inputs or 16 by 16. If you're working with open gear cards, we've added five new open gear cards. There's an embedder, disembedder, there's an up-down cross converter, there's a 4K to HD converter, and then our most popular HDMI workflows, both for HDMI input and HDMI output. These five cards all work in our current rack or any uh, open gear compatible rack. Uh, the great addition though is supported by dashboard software. So we're now working with dashboard software that gives you configuration and control, very simple. So across a range of workflows, Again, uh, increasing our footprint when it comes to the HDR working space. And to end on this front, we actually have a brand new tech preview here. Working with our great partners, Colorfront, we are showing the HDR image analyzer. So here we are at our HDR wall at NAB 2018. The FSHDR, which is our real-time SDR to HDR, HDR to HDR, and HDR to SDR uh, transformation box driven by the Colorfront engine and offering support for a wide range of camera log uh, workflows. Everything happening in real time now supports dual outputs in the sense that you can do 4K HDR, for instance, and you can also, through the SDI monitoring output, apply a completely different uh, transformation on that port. 
And that allows you to also deal with dual SDR, HDR workflows. So moving on from there, we now have the HDR image analyzer, which is what you're seeing behind me. So this will be, it's a tech preview. So here we have a one rack U convenience server, uh, again working with Colorfront, with their wonderful software tools, waveform monitors, vector scopes, uh, automatic error logging, uh, the ability to do NIT level counts, etc. And as you can see up here on the screen, it's even possible to go through and look at particular lines and pull out just the information you need to analyze. Uh, this is going to be critical, whether you are on set, needing to double check what you're capturing by camera, whether you're in the post-production process, coming out of effects work or editing, and of course when you do your final masters. Uh, so this product, as I said, is a tech preview now, but much like the FSHDR was a uh, tech preview in NEV, 2017, and we had it out by late summer, you can certainly expect us to bring this to market as fast as possible. So thank you for joining us here at uh, NMA 2018. And if you'd like to learn more, please go to aja.com and take a look at our HDR solutions page, where you can learn about all the areas that we are exploring and creating tools within, so that you can get on with this wonderful new world of deep color and expanded uh, light range.